Morning, everyone. We are going to read another great book today. This is called Swashby and the Sea. Give me one quick second to share my screen. And here we go. This is Swashby and the Sea by Beth Ferry. This is such a good one. I love this story. Captain Swashby loved the sea. The sea and he had been friends for a long, long time. She knew him in and out, up and down, and better than anyone. So when Swashby retired, it was to a small house on a small beach as close to the sea as he could be. Whenever he needed something, the sea provided exactly the right thing at exactly the right time. Life was just the way Swashby liked it. Salty and sandy and serene. Until... Dun, 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 squeaks and squeals sprang from the empty house next door, which was no longer empty. It had been commandeered by a girl and her granny who planted umbrellas, scattered beach chairs, and boarded Swashby's deck without permission. Look at him hiding over there in his house. Swashby battened down the hatches, hid when the doorbell, doorbell rang, and fed their oatmeal cookies to the gulls. He didn't need neighbors. He didn't want neighbors. Neighbors were noisy, a nuisance, annoying. So in return, he left a message written clearly in the sand. No trespassing. No trespassing means there, no one's supposed to come over on his land. So it says, so in return, he left a message written clearly in the sand, which the sea fiddled with just a little bit. <gasps> Look, the sea washed away some of the letters. Sing, the girl read, and did just that. She sang every song she knew while dancing up and down Swashby's deck. Did you see that? You see at the end of the word trespassing, it's S-I-N-G, and how the water washed the rest of the letters away to make sing. What now, she asked. Now vanish, Swashby wrote later that evening, adding a starfish exclamation point. And the sea fiddled just a little. Oh, let's see what it makes this time. Do you see that up in the top right corner? W-I-S-H. Wish the girl read, picking up the starfish, and did just that. She closed her eyes and began, I wish. No, no, Swashby interrupted, stomping down the steps. If you mean to make a starfish wish, you must say this. Starfish back to wave so blue, the sea will see a wish come true. How lovely, Granny said. We wish you would come for a cup of tea, Mr. Swashby. But Swashby wished to be left alone, so he grumbled and mumbled and hurried inside. He didn't need tea. He didn't want tea. Tea was civilized, friendly, and neighborly. What he needed was a new message. Please go away, he wrote firmly in the sand. And once again, the sea fiddled just a little. Oh, you see what it says now? P-L-A-Y. Play, the girl shouted out, and did just that, with Swashby's shells and stones, with his buckets and shovels, but her towers kept falling. Barnacle bottom, Swashby muttered, marching out. You're doing it all wrong. You must not use the sun-baked sand. It's the sea sand that does the trick. And he showed her how to dig for the wet sand below. Think, but Swashby was gone. Before long, amazing sculptures decorated the beach. It's the clamshells you should be using, Swashby called from inside. Come play, Mr. Swashby, the girl called back. Swashbys don't play, he answered, banging the shutters. So the sea decided to meddle more than just a little. She inched her way up the sand and tickled the girl's toes. She nibbled on the sculptures and slurped away the bucket. The girl tried to grab it, but dun, dun, dun. look at me, the girl called. <gasps> look at her, Granny gasped. Oh, dear, look at her. Granny hurried to the water's edge, but dun, dun, dun. now even though right now the girl's smiling like she's happy, she's in a dangerous position right now because the sea's taking her away. Swashby was already there. What are you, what are you, uh, let me start that one over. 
What are you up to, you, your great simp, salty imp? He asked, scooping up the girl and the bucket. With a great big wave, the sea delivered the pair back to the shore. And there was no stopping the laughing and thanking and hugging that was Swashby's reward. I see what you did, he whispered to the sea as he was whisked away to celebrate. After that, it was easy for Swashby to have tea with the girl and her granny and ice cream and lobster and s'mores on the beach. It was easy for him to share his special sea glass. It was even easy for him to see that neighbors could be fun and friends and family. And when he had a moment to himself, Swashby carved a, heart, carved a heartfelt message in the sea. Thank you, friends, which the sea fiddled with just a little bit. Oh, who knows what that says? T-H-E and then E-N-D, the end. Oh, I love Swashby in the sea. That is such a great message. Let me, whoop, sorry, let me stop sharing. Okay, so this book is going to be battling Evelyn Del Rey is moving away. So if you've watched this one, then go watch Evelyn Del Rey is moving away and then vote. Thanks, guys. See you later.